In this video, I'm going to fix some um, issue, some bugs in our project. In the previous video, uh, you might notice about um, when we add or when we update the product, it doesn't update the UN here. Um, it's like, for example, if I like update, so if I click on update, it doesn't update instantly here. If I refresh the page, um, it's uh, changing the data here. But I don't want to do like this. It's because the problem is that um, we are uh, using this um, entire component, product list component from our um, product index this one so we are um, using this product list components in this here because in our web uh, router when we go into product controller index um, it's going directly to admin folder product folder and index component um, here index component but this index component um, use the product list component like this so we need to pass the data from inertia instantly from the index okay in the controller um, so what can I do is set up um, define prompt the define any define prompt we can do define prompt so it means we are catching the prompt as soon as it change from here it will be like product p r o d u c d s like a array that prompt data is coming from our close other is coming from product controller like i show you before here this products okay as a prompt to the index so um after that we can fax that's um prompt data to another component as a parameter like p r o d u c d s equal to um this product okay we will bring this product the same name and then we will go to this and we don't if we use like this um for that um, kind of um, function, it doesn't work. For for the header or sidebar, it's okay. But here, um, we need to define prompts again. D finally define prompt. So I'm I will use like um, like we do in the index of the product. So it will be array again. So we are accepting this prompt data from our index. This one, okay. So um, we don't have any use bit like this for the product. We have only like the same thing. We, we, we don't need to do any other thing. So it will be okay. So let me refresh the bit. The same thing. So if I click edit. Um, update new product okay it will be changed instantly as you see it will be changed instantly we don't need to refresh if we click on add new product um new product at okay now the price is one quantity one okay come here some song blah 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 and then when we scroll down we will see new product at so this where this box has been um issued in our previous video so in this video you will know how to fix this problem and another problem yes another problem is when we add we don't see the icon plus icon here um it's because um, in the in here we need to add the the, the icon um icon plus icon here you see plus icon icon view so uh, after that will be okay so I will import here at the top and then I will go back and add products so as you see here is the add icon so if I click on uh, products so as you see the add icon has been added um, so yeah that's it so in, in the next video uh, I will show you how to um, delete or maybe I will show here uh, because it's not too long for this one. So I will show you how to delete, um, delete entire products. So we need to have we need we we'll go to, we we'll go to, open products. Okay, here it should be here. Um, I think I don't need show here. I delete and this one. Okay, add CLS click. We will delete. Okay, D L D E delete P L D U C D products. Delete products and we will bring that product and then we will bring the index because we will select. We will split. You know, we will split from the list of the products. Um, as soon as we press the delete button, okay. So um, what can I do? It I will I will go and create the method at product here. Reset form update products. After that, the delete, delete product. Yo, you see the let me show you method, okay. So here, um, delete product. We we will create const delete product, and then uh, we will accept the we will accept the parameter here product yaw ducd product and index okay so after you click on it it will be deleting um before um we, we delete we want to show confirm message with the sweat alert okay so after uh, how can we show we will define like sweat alert here are you sure tighter the action cannot be undo one in and it's um show cancel button will be true and confirmation color you can set your color so after that has been um uh, confirmed if it is confirmed then we will use the then and then resuld reset any reset whatever reset it is and we will do um, a refunction um, if the reset is confirmed, okay. If we will check if the reset is confirmed, this reset is confirmed from um, here confirmation button. Um, we will we will um, we will delete, okay. We will delete. We will delete. Um, yeah. If it is confirmed, we will delete. Router dot. We will use router dot delete. Um, before we use router dot delete, I will do try and cd cd ch catch error. As well as console dot log error. Oh, error. So here router dot delete delete. D E L E D delete. Um, there will be. Um, we don't have that. Um, not that. I, I mean that's um. Request. But we 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 do later. This right and I will use the products dot id. So P R O P R O D U C T S. Okay. Product. This right. Um, which is 
with this ID. After that, um, we will have comma and on success, on success, on success. Um, that on success will have um, PHP page, every function key, um, success message. After that, we will um, we we'll delete. Okay, if it is success, this dot d and d e delete um, products comma i and e x. Okay, this product index will be delete, and then we will show um, so a lot. So that will be the same thing. So you can copy from uh, from uh, from from my back. So um toast icon position. So this is where will show. So we will do P R O D U C D this right with the ID using the lead method. Okay, here. And I will do like this, product this right. Um here, products this right ID, product controller, D E S D O R this right, and product this right, D E S D O R -Y. So we will go to the product controller and we will We'll find the product controller and we will we we'll make a function here. B U B N I C public F U N C D I one function D E S D O R one D E S D O R one where I receive the ID from a request list. And then um we'll do like the same thing, like a image. So uh, products go to Yahoo D U C P R O D U C T products uh, find or F I M field for the ID and then we'll delete. And then we will return back with the same message, okay? Um, product the list is a fully, okay? Like this product list index, uh, product list. If we click on this product delete icon, it should be delete. Let's see. Yeah, I sure. So we have got another problem like previous video. Delete, yes, delete. Um, yeah, this one slap one. I'm always have that kinds of problem. Uh, wait, 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 wait. This one slap, okay? So it's having the leader here. And then yes, it's having the leader. Okay. And the delete function is also done. So we have um we have product update, product add, product delete function, everything has been covered. Um we have like multiple images upload um using um using EN Plex and UN element and we, we have um if we have uh, different kinds of images we can um delete single images from that uh, product or something like this. So all the feature um for the admin um it's good uh, merely to be finished and we'll go um, after we finish um, this product we'll go to the front end for the user like showing the list of product and add to car and check out the things thank you so much see you in the next video